This is Coda Territory Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello, everybody. USD's Bob Nielsen has been named one of 20 finalists for the FCS Coach of the Year Award. The Coyotes racked up a 9-2 regular season record and route to earning the number three seed for the FCS playoffs. Now, South Dakota has a first round bye and will host Sacramento State or North Dakota on December 2nd. To nobody's surprise, South Dakota State's Jimmy Rogers is also a finalist for the FCS Coach of the Year Award. In his first season as head coach, Rogers led the Jackrabbits to a perfect 11-0 regular season. SDSU is the top overall seed for the playoffs. It will host Mercer or Gardner-Webb on December 2nd. Now wide receiver Jaden Yankee has had another big season. He had 10 catches for 187 yards in Saturday's big win over Missouri State. All the one-on-one -on -one defense we're seeing, um, it makes it a lot easier as a receiver to just kind of go out there and run my route against one guy trying to stop me and uh, Mark putting it in the right spot. Um, it's, it's been good. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm very fortunate and blessed to be able to make the plays I do and for Coach um, calling the plays for me. And um, I think uh, you'll see Jackson Yonke start making a lot more plays. He's hungry, ready to go after that injury. And uh, I'm excited for him too. The Yankee brothers doing big things with the South Dakota State. Now in college basketball, the South Dakota State men dropped a tight game tonight to George Mason, 73-71. The Jackrabbit woman took on the top-ranked team of the country, South Carolina. The Gamecocks proved worthy of that ranking with a 78-38 victory. The Black Hills State women's basketball team split a pair of games at the East-West Challenge over the weekend. The Yellow Jackets earned an impressive 62-50 three victory over Sioux Falls before falling to Northern State 58-52 on Saturday. This weekend's games offered BH a chance to face some good competition early on in the season. And the Yellow Jackets return to the court next Monday as they host South Dakota Mines. It was really good for us to see, you know, defensively um, just how, you know, we attacked each game and how it was a little bit different and that, you know, we have a little bit of variety in the way that we defend. Um, you know, so that was really good in the sense of just seeing kind of where we're at all together as a team. Just trying to find um, more ways to score. And I think that's just going to be kind of figuring out each other and playing really well together and finding the right people at the right time. The Black Hills State men's basketball team dropped its two games at the East-West Challenge over the weekend. Yellow Jackets lost to August Stan on a close one, 76-70 on Friday. They followed that up by losing to Minnesota State Moorhead, 86-72 on Saturday. Black Hills State's Matthew Ragsdale played well in both games as he scored 21 points against Augie in 22 versus MSU Moorhead. Hoku Fisher also poured in 18 points on Saturday. Black Hills State is now 1-3 on the season and returns to the court tomorrow when it plays at Montana State Billings. And it's time now for another edition of Big O Fish. And tonight, Tao Lockwood and his grandson Jody grabbed the spotlight. They each got two pound walleyes out of Angostura Reservoir. Congratulations, guys, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be featured on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the Submit Photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in, and we will get you on Big old fish. Some nice looking at walleyes there. Big Monday night football game tonight, as you saw right here on Coda Territory Television. It was the Eagles getting the win over the Chiefs in the Super Bowl rematch. Philadelphia takes it 21 at 17. NBA tonight. Nuggets with a win 107 103 over the Pistons. And Vicky, for a football fan, NFL or college, this might be the best week of the year. Great week for football fans. Starting up on uh, Thanksgiving, three NFL games. You can see the Packers and the Lions over on Fox Thursday morning at 10:30. All right, thanks, Vic.